Hi, I'm Alex and this is Pucks and Paperbacks. Today I have my September TBR. I will be going over some of the readathons I'll be participating in and some books I'll be reading for vlogs. Let's get started. So I'm back with knowing my reading plans. <laughs> if you saw my last TBR, I just wasn't sure what to read so I had TikTok filters decide. This time I actually have a cohesive plan. I'm going to be participating in two readathons this month and all of the details will be in my description if you want to also join them. First being Becca's Book Opalathon. I actually took part in the weekend version of this and I had a lot of fun so I want to also try and participate this month if I can. I have have a lot of reading plans. I'll have her video linked down below where she explains all the rules and my TBR will come later in this video. And I'll be participating in Latinx Book Bingo which runs from September 15th to October 15th which is Latinx Heritage Month. The hosts are Sophia, Candy, and Paola so I will have their links down below as well. I will go over my TBRs for those in a minute but let's go over the books I'll be reading for videos. I will be reading these three classics. Let me know in the comments if you have any guesses to what this video is. First is Franny and Zoe by J.D. Salinger. I've owned this for a while and just want to read it before I unhaul it. <laughs> Slaughterhouse Five by Kurt Vonnegut and On the Road by Jack Kerouac. If you saw my June book haul, I did mention a few of these books so if you know you know. And my most exciting video is I will be rereading the Bear Town series because I did receive an e-arc from Atria Books through NetGalley of the winners, the last book. So I will have a full video of me reading these. So maybe it'll be like an hour long video on my channel. I've never had those before. I don't feel comfortable with like really long videos. It's just my anxiety. But I'm just not somebody that wants to really produce an hour-long video. If you're new here, this is my favorite book series and the last book is 700 pages and I'm so excited. So hit subscribe if you're new here and you want to see a full vlog of me reading it. It'll probably be spoilers. I love autumn because hockey is coming. September 22nd is preseason for the Flyers. I have such a hate to love relationship with hockey because there's so many facets that I don't agree with but I always come back because I love it. Kind of going through hockey withdrawal, I'm just bored without it. I'm like, I need it. Even though there's a lot of problems going on with my team, I just can't strip away from it. I just love it so much that I crave it. <laughs> it's an addiction at this point. I just know I'm going to film myself reading them. I don't know if it'll be spoiler free or not. Maybe I'll do a version of that but I really just want to share all my thoughts. The last book is 700 pages so I'm hoping to get it out in October because it comes out October 8th in the States. These books are all translated from Swedish and they are about hockey and I love it. So look out for that video. I'm so excited to reread these and that is why I'm saying I don't know how much of my reading plans are going to get done. Now to my readathon TBRs. For Book Opalathon, here are the challenges that I ended up receiving. TBR Vet. TBR Vet is a book that's been on your TBR the longest and Franny and Zoe definitely works for this because I have owned this for a very, very long time. <laughs> Patterns and text, pub or set since 2020. I'll be using Furia for this. Color Wheel, I got Deep Purple. Lake Lore could work for this. There is some Deep Purple in the waves so this could work. We'll see. I might have some audiobooks that I could use as well. I think audiobooks are going to be my best friend this month <laughs> but maybe this could work too because there is some purple. We'll see. And community chest. For this I went through some of my challenge prompts. I am participating in yearly challenges including buzzwordathon, the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge and Pop Sugar. So I took some of those and I used a random number generator. I landed on Read a Horror Novel by a BIPOC author which is one of the challenges for the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge that I have yet to complete. I'm going to be reading My Heart is a Chainsaw by Stephen Graham Jones. I just got it on Libby and I'm so excited to read it. Uh, I love horror. 
I love Stephen Graham Jones and I'm just so excited to read this. Apparently it's about horror movies or has some of those elements and I am just so excited to read it. As for last next book bingo, I have some priorities. I'm hoping to read at least two to three books but like I said I have a lot of books on my TBR. These are rolling over to October. Here are some of my priorities. I have Mexican Gothic. I actually have a physical copy. I just it's around here somewhere in my closet. I am so excited to read American Dreamer by Adriana Herrera. I love her so much and I can't wait to read her. I meant to read it for the queer romance readathon but I never got around to it so this is a Killian romance about a food truck owner and I am just so excited. For middle grade I have The Dreamweaver by Rena Luz Legre and this is about a bowling alley that goes under and needs to be saved. And it's set at the Jersey Shore. I've been to the Jersey Shore a handful of times because I live in PA so I'm really excited to read this. For the challenge set in Latin America I'm going to read Furia. I started the audiobook last year and I just never got around to finishing it. There's a pattern in this TBR video that I just have a lot of books that I started and haven't finished so that's kind of what September is for me. So I actually started Furia last year. I had the audiobook from my library and then it expired so let's do it again. Let's finish it. I really enjoyed what I read of it. I just never gave myself the time to actually finish it so I am on hold for it and I'm hoping it comes in in time. <laughs> so those are just a couple of the books I would like to read for Latinx Book Bingo. Let me know what you are planning to read in September. If any of these books are on your TBRs, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel when you do so and feel free to hit subscribe to hear my thoughts on all queer and trans books. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.